Okay. I'm just um, going to wrap this up now. I'm going to quickly wrap this up because it's time that I wrap this up. What I'm talking about tonight is basically what is a, what is a family and etc. I think that what I've touched on tonight is touched on a fair bit, but what I've got to, what I've got to wrap up here is basically a family starts off with before there is a family, you've got a, a single man and you have a single woman. If these both are Christians and both believe in God, then the man is praying diligently. The woman is praying diligently. They are both praying. So that's the that's the that's 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 the key here. That's the keystone here. That's the key, right? Now, when the man and a woman come together, do the both keys lock together? If they both lock together, then obviously the the key is that the relationship's going to grow. They're going to make babies. They're going to have children, and the same thing's going to happen. They're going to continue to pray. And they're going to devote themselves intensely to prayer. But they also must be alert and many things that would detour them, detour, detour, us, detour them from, from this purpose. Satan, the weakness of the human nature, will try to cause us neglect prayer. Itself becomes distracted while praying. So, meaning, at the end of the day, this is the key, this is the key stone of, of, of coming into a family, then having children, and, and then being husband and wife. This is just one of the keystones where prayer is very important. And prayer is one of those keys that makes the family a family of God and prayer just makes everything strong and it's just like the bricklayer. The bricklayer's mortar makes the, the, the bricks hold together strong. If you've got a poor mortar, then the bricks are just going to fall over and the brick wall is just going to fall, fall over. And so at the end of the day, what I'm saying to you is, is that I ask you, is your brick mortar really strong bond that you can build a brick wall with it and it, you, I can go and touch my finger with it and it's not going to fall over? Because guess what? If your wife and your family are on the other side of that brick wall and your mortar is really weak and you build a brick wall, then I'm going to touch it and it's going to fall over. And, you know, as it says, in order to devote to us intensely in prayer, we must be alert at many things that would detour us. And at the end of the day, we must also devote yourself and continue steadfast. We've got to be steadfast in, in God's Word. We've got to be steadfast in the Word of God. We've got to be steadfast in everything that we do. And everything we do, that we've got to devote ourselves to God. And so when we look at this, you know, we've, we've got to also remember that... that that also God opens many doors. And through prayer, which is a keystone again, through praying, then God will open up all these doors for us as well. But those doors aren't going to open if you don't pray. So if one of your doors to open is that you want a companion in your life and you want a soulmate, well, for that door to open, you've got to be praying to God and you've got to be steadfast and you've got to have the discipline in God to require the Christian victory, to require a victory in God, you've got to be disciplined. For that door to open, so you could be praying, God, I want a soulmate in my life. And for that to open, you've got to actually have the discipline for a victory to God and also being steadfast in God. I'm going to wrap it up now and I'm going to just going to pray to God. That's the key point here, is praying. And I encourage everybody, when you go home tonight, have a prayer book that you can write down into, just like you have a telephone book. Write it, write up, get a A4 uh, big white piece of sheet of cardboard. Put it up on the wall so your children can reach it, and they can write down the things that they want to pray about. It can be so insignificant that children want to pray about it, but it might be about the dog or it might be about the cat. Doesn't matter. Encourage them to pray. Encourage them to pray. You know, so they put down our oh, snuggles, the cat. So they write snuggles on, on, on the bit of white paper. Then you pray with them every night. Oh, we just pray for snuggles tonight. And we pray that, 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 that the cat's going to be well and safe. And, you know, you encourage that. You encourage that prayer. And then, see, this is an, a key interlocking thing. And you also might have one for yourself, which is an adult in your bedroom. And it might be other prayers. 
as you go to work daily and you might see things that are happening in work, you might have a workmate that might need to be prayed for. She doesn't need to know or he doesn't need you to know that you're going to pray for him, but you're going to write it down in your workbook and you're going to pray for the person or in your diary. At the end of the day, we need to start to practicing and putting what God has put into place. We need to start to be diligent in our praying. We need to be devoting ourselves intensively to prayer. So I'm going to close off tonight. And, 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 and what this sermon's been about is about, this word of God's been about is, is about family and what his family is. And I think, I think that when it comes down to it, family also is, and the start of family is, and that keystone is prayer. Prayer is what opens up the door for both people, whether it's a male looking for a female and a female looking for a male, and they want to join as husband and wife. P- prayer is where it starts. So, Lord Jesus, tonight, thank you for the word of God. Thank you for sharing the word of God. Thank you for letting your Holy Spirit work on us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for this prayer. Lord Jesus, I just ask everybody that listens to this video, Lord Jesus, that that, that you will teach them to be diligent in prayer, that they will be on their guard, Lord Jesus, that they will not let the devil, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus Christ, that Jesus, that you 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 will strengthen them and you will help them to be on their guard from their human weaknesses, Lord, that they won't be distracted or detoured from. Lord Jesus, that if they're looking for a companion tonight, Lord Jesus, if they're looking for a companion tonight, Lord Jesus, if they're looking, if they are married already, Lord Jesus, that you would strengthen their marriage, Lord Jesus, in the blood of Jesus Christ, that you would strengthen people's marriages tonight. You would make, renew them in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. You would renew their marriages. And if people are trying to get together as a couple tonight, Lord Jesus, whether it's in this church or in the world, Lord Jesus, that your Holy Spirit will go out and touch those people, Lord Jesus, that you would strengthen them and you would you would show them the purpose and, and the timing of, of you, God, God, and that they realise that they need to walk in the will of God, Lord Jesus, that they need to walk in the will of God and they can be diligent and devoted in prayer, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I just encourage these things in the name of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for just let the Holy Spirit go out into the world and go out into this church, Lord, that you can teach them, Lord Jesus, that, it, that, that the keystone to this is praying, Lord Jesus, and being able to pray and bring about a, di- a diligent a diligent and, and, and being on your guard, Lord Jesus, and being devoted to prayer, and being devoted to prayer, that we can also bring about, Lord Jesus, all these things, Lord Jesus, and also a victory for you, Lord Jesus, a victory for you, that we can actually... Start praying daily, Lord Jesus, and and we can bring about a victory to God, a victory to you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, I just ask the Holy Spirit to minister everybody and touch everybody's heart that, 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 that God instructs us and God says that it's important for all of us to pray daily, Lord, and have devotional prayer to encourage our family and our children, Lord Jesus. Encourage everybody that's in our family and our children and have a have a really strong prayer connection, Lord, and be devoted and diligent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for tonight. Thank you for this message. Amen. And everyone said amen.